There's a lot of controversy in the React world about how React 18 will call use effect twice when some people think it should only get called once. Of course, this is only in dev mode and only in strict mode, but I count myself among the people who thought it was a bad idea for React to do this. That being said, I put it up on Twitter and I got a response from Dan Abramov and he convinced me otherwise. And I'm sold, React strict mode is awesome and the double use effect is nothing to be scared of. So let's jump right in and I'll show you what I mean. Hi, I'm Jack Harrington. I'm a principal full stack software engineer and I've been using React for a bunch of years and I've been teaching it for the last few years. And one of the things that I've said all along is if you use an empty dependency array on use effect, you'll only get called once. But that was only part of the story. Actually, you get called once when the component is mounted. And that's the distinction that I think a lot of people are getting confused by when they see how React 18 will call your use effect multiple times. So let's go over into a code sandbox and I'll show you what I mean. So into this code sandbox, I am going to create two stopwatches, a good stopwatch and a bad stopwatch. And the good stopwatch is going to use use effect the right way and create an interval and then return a cleanup function, which is going to remove that interval. The bad stopwatch is going to be exactly the same thing, except that it's not actually going to do the cleanup function. And so it's going to leak intervals. And the cool thing about strict mode is it's actually going to show me this error. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in use effect and use state. And now I'm going to implement my bad stopwatch. So I'll have the counter as state. And then I'll have a template here saying bad stopwatch. And I'll put in the count to one decimal point. And then I'll use a use effect. that I will only run on mount, thus the empty dependency array. And it is going to do a set interval, which creates a timer that gets given a function. In that function, I'm then going to do set count to the count plus 0 0.1, because I'm going to call this every 100 milliseconds. But I'm not actually going to clean up this set interval. So this bad stopwatch is going to leak intervals, every time it gets mounted, it's going to create another interval, but not clean it up. So now I'm going to create a good stopwatch that actually does that cleanup. So it's exactly the same code, except that I'll say, good stopwatch. And I will also grab the interval coming out of here. And then return a cleanup function. All right, now we've got our two components, let's put them into our layout. So down here, I'm going to replace this div with a grid. That's two columns. And then into here, I will put our bad stopwatch and our good stopwatch. And now you can see that we're actually running kind of weird. Our good stopwatch is about 12 seconds in, and that seems about right. Our bad stopwatch is up to like 33. What's up with this? This is crazy. So these two stopwatches that should be going at the same rate are actually growing at dramatically different rates. So let's try and debug this a little bit. I'm going to go over here into our use effect and see how many times is this getting called. So I'll put a console log in there and say bad stopwatch use effect. Hit save, hit refresh. And this two here indicates that this use effect was called twice, which means that we created two intervals and both intervals go and accelerate the count, which means that our count goes twice as fast. So what's happening here? Well, we are in strict mode. Let's go take a look over in our index.js. We can see down here that we are in strict mode. Now, if I were to remove this, which is what happens in production, and I hit save, then you can see that our stopwatches run at the same rate. So, so strict mode is showing us that we have a problem. How's it doing that? Well, it's mounting, unmounting, and then remounting our component to make sure that our components are resilient to mounting and unmounting. In fact, this is just one of the things 
that strict mode helps with. Go, let's go take a look at the documentation and I can show you more about the different kind of things that strict mode will help us resolve. So here's the React documentation on strict mode that is linked to in the description down below. And this is what strict mode is helping us with. It's helping us with this entire list of things that it's looking at. In particular, identifying components with unsafe life cycles, like the bad stopwatch that we created because we didn't clean up that interval. Also, things like using string refs, the context API, manually doing fine DOM node. These are awesome. Like all of this stuff is the kind of things that you'd want to check for when you're building React apps to make sure that you are programming idiomatic React the way that you should be programming React. Isn't it awesome that now this is actually built in to the framework? So if you're really put off by this double mounting thing, like I was initially, the question becomes, should you get around it? And how would you get around it if you wanted to? Well, should you get around it? Let me let Dan speak for himself on this. So the correct solution is to embrace double firing and make sure that your cleanup function works. I completely agree. So that double firing in dev doesn't hurt. Not to try and work around it and to do something super smart that causes other issues. And I completely agree on this. So let's talk about the kind of things that you could do that are trying to be super smart to get around this. Well, the one that I found was in this blog entry. And you might have seen this yourself if you looked around about this whole use effect React 18 thing. So let's go take a look down at this use effect once hook. So what he's doing is he's taking in an effect here and then he's running it, but only the first time through the mounting process. And then he's capturing this cleanup function and trying to call it down here. But actually, if you work with this particular hook, you'll find that that cleanup function never gets called. So the end result is that you're going to get leaks if you use this particular implementation. And I actually tried to get around this. I tried to go and make my own version of use effect once so not only would just fire the ones, but also get cleaned up. And even if I could make that happen, I still don't think it's a good idea. First off, the component that you mount the first time may not have all the same refs and same components that you mount the second time around. So if you're storing refs and things like that, you're not guaranteed that those refs are going to be the same the second time around. Secondly, it's just a bad idea. You should write use effects so that they can be cleaned up and it doesn't matter how many times they get run. They just work. But I know what you might be saying because I kind of said it too. What if I have some really heavyweight thing in my use effect and I really want to make sure that it only gets done once, maybe a subscription to a service or you're setting up something. Let me encourage you to actually just move it out of use effects altogether. We have awesome state managers. We've got Redux, Jotai, Recoil, Valshio, Zustand. You can use those state managers to ensure that your setup code only gets run once and whatever data is coming out of it is accessible everywhere at any time. And I think that's actually a far better place to put that kind of logic than inside of a use effect. But even after Dan convinced me that strict mode was a good thing and this double mounting was a good idea, I gotta say, I kind of leaned back into it and said that the developer experience wasn't great, that people were learning use effect and it was a little bit freaky and they have troubles with it. And yet we are making it even more complicated by having this kind of double mounting thing. And he made a really great point. He said, we debated this for over 20 hours cumulatively over many meetings, separate levels is what we started with. For example, you could en enable just this kind of multi mount thing, disable it. Ultimately, we concluded that the fragmentation was too confusing that having Strict mode be at various levels of strictness was too confusing. There's pressure to conform on libraries and having even two levels makes this a matter of opinion. And again, he convinced me one, because it's awesome that they spent so much time thinking about the developer experience on react, but two, I liken it to TypeScript and how with TypeScript, we have the TS config file and that TS configuration can actually wildly vary your experience of TypeScript. 
on a really tight configuration, you can get an unpleasant, the over tight feeling from TypeScript that's constantly in your face. And then on the other hand, you can loosen it up to the point where you don't really do any typing at all. So having just one strict mode that you have to work with, I think is just the best way to go. But I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about this double mounting? What do you think about React 18? Are you gonna use strict mode? Put that down in the comments down below. Of course, in the meantime, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell and be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.